welcome to network nuts my name is alok shivastava and i welcome you again in the series of our small videos in this video i am going to show you how to configure a dns round robin for achieving fault tolerance and load balancing first of all i'll just try to explain you what is round robin i have a small picture here for you i'd made it in the color suppose i've got a uh, some site hosted on a server if my site is very popular then the chances are that that i'll be getting a too much of request for the particular site now the site is hosted on a single server now increasing the ram and increasing the cpu and like putting up a uh, high speed hard disk will not work after a certain limit when my server is not able to cater the request that particular effect or that particular problem is known as slash dot effect now what i can do to to counter this i can have one more server and both the servers are hosting the same site so i can have now i have two servers web servers those are hosting the same website but the problem is that that whenever somebody hits me from the internet the request obviously will be coming onto my dns server if somebody is trying to hit me from the net the request is going to the dns server how come the dns server uh, will decide that which web server to use this can be done through dns round robin mechanism means whenever ma the request i will configure my dns server in such a way that whenever some request come come to my dns server for my particular website my dns server will automatically pick this server first if the request comes next time then this server will be picked up next this server will be picked up and if the request comes again then this server will be picked up means even if the machine is the same if even if the same machine is hitting me for my site my dns server will automatically be swapping or or, or changing the web servers to cater the request that is the idea behind the dns round robin i'll just show you that it it is actually being implemented worldwide i'll just open up a terminal here look i try to give a command host www.yahoo.com i am connected with the internet look here the yahoo dns server says that this will be your web server for catering the request if you are doing it for this time if if i give the same command again chances are that here it is look now the second web server comes on the top means this web server will be catering to me same now it swapped again means every time i give the requ the request the dns for the yahoo changes the web server for me i can try couple of more sites here say i give host www dot say hotmail dot com let's check it out fine 169 is on the top means i'll be be catered by this let's check it out now 184 comes at so me there is a round robin configured on the hotmail server for these four web servers so here i've got two means whenever the request comes here my dns server will automatically choose which web server to use depending upon the priorities or the ttl value now let's see how to configure this i hope you understand the point i have a one web server or, or, or my dns configured here for you the dns is already configured i'm just going to show you how to configure the dns for the round robin i will open up my zone file so i am here i'll just open the screen i am here in the var name ch root var name i open up my zone file i've got a network nuts dot internal dot forward here in my zone file i can add the dub 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 the ttl value in a and the ip address of my web server say 254 dub 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 the second one in a 172.24.0.111 in the same manner if i have got more web servers configured for a single site i can just keep on adding the lines here just keep on adding the lines here i save come out the 
default dns is already being there save give a service named restart now let me check from a different machine i have one more virtual server for you so i go to that virtual server look here if i give the command host www.networknuts.net it clearly shows you that this time your request will will be first scattered by 111 if i give the same command again it's swapped so it is solely upon the dns how it is dividing the load on my two web servers in my case it is 111 and 254 so the concept is fairly simple it's a very simple trick or a hack that you that can be used to configure dns round robin to divide the load now the same can be done for ftp also and any service so here is the service the ttl in a and the ips of the machines those are hosting that particular service so as you can see here if i go there i'll just repeat it again i go back here i give the command every time the dns changes the server for me so it is actually dividing the load between the two web servers i come back onto my picture oh, so i hope you understand the concept that whenever the request comes from the internet my dns will choose which web server to use depending upon the configuration what i had done in my dns so i hope you like it and see you soon thank you very much god bless